Tonight, a dramatic new turn in what the Obama administration and its allies would like to dismiss as an old story. The September 11th, 2012 attacks in Benghazi, Libya, which killed U.S. Ambassador Christopher Stevens and three other Americans. Speaking out publicly for the first time are three of the men who were on the ground and in the fight that night in Benghazi. They were security operators at the secret CIA annex in Benghazi, in effect the first responders to any attack. This is ahead of their new book, 13 Hours, the inside account of what really happened in Benghazi, a book that's out next week. They speak exclusively and at length to Fox News about what they saw and how they specifically responded that night. I asked them about one of the most controversial questions arising from Benghazi. Was help delayed? Five minutes, we're ready. Thumbs up, thumbs up, we're ready to go. Then what happened? I said, hey, we're ready to go. Bob looks right through me and looks at the team leader and goes, you guys need to wait. Bob was the CIA's base chief in Benghazi. He's, just on the, he's on the he's phone on the talking floor. to somebody. I assumed they were trying to coordinate us to link up with 17 February. Which is the local which militia. Which is a local militia. Well, it had probably been 15 minutes, I think, and I got out of the car. and uh, Bob and uh, the team lead were standing on the front porch. And I just said, hey, you know, we, gotta, we need to get over there. We're losing the initiative. You know, and Bob just looked straight at me and said, stand down. You need to wait. We're starting yeah. to get calls from the State Department guys saying, hey, we're taking fire. We need you guys here. We need help. After being repeatedly told to wait, the security team says they defied orders and headed to the besieged consulate on their own. They asked repeatedly for armed air support, which never came. Looking back, the team believes that if they hadn't been delayed for nearly half an hour, things might have turned out differently. If I gave you that 30 minutes back, would Ambassador Stevens and Sean Smith be alive today? Yes, they would still be alive. My gut is yes. You in on that? I would strongly believe if we'd have left immediately, they'd still be alive today. And I asked about that infamous YouTube video, which was blamed for the violence in Benghazi. And there was no whisper that this no. video was a major problem in Benghazi did, or something? Didn't know about video until I got to Germany. No idea about any, any video, no. In a statement to Fox News, a senior intelligence official insists that, quote, there were no orders to anybody to stand down in providing support. He used the word stand down. A number of people now, including the House Intelligence Committee, they insist no one was hindered from responding to the situation at the compound. The committee's wording was, quote, there was no stand down order given to American personnel attempting to offer assistance that evening. So what do you say to that? And the way it happened. It happened on the ground. All I can talk about is what happened on the ground that night. To you? To us, to myself twice, and to, to Tig once. It happened that night. That happened. We were told to wait stand, and stand down. We were delayed three times. In a statement to Fox News, however, a senior intelligence official does allow that the security team was, in fact, delayed from responding while the CIA's top officer in Benghazi tried to rally local support. The official points to the Senate Intelligence Committee report that stated the committee found, quote, no evidence of intentional, intentional delay or obstruction by the chief of base or any other party. You can hear the full first-hand account of what really happened in Benghazi when Fox News airs 13 hours at Benghazi, the inside story, Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern.